What's up? I'm Kylie Muscle, and today I want to talk to the youth as well as the old fools about doing things to end themselves up in prison or death. So I'm going to take you through a roll of my story and how I ended up in prison doing 11 years. You know, my mother, she would beat me, uh, pull the pistol on me, and that made me real angry as a kid. I was a good kid, went to school, played sports, excelled in sports and academics, was senior class president in high school, graduated with an athletic and academic scholarship to Fresno State. But I carried that anger with me. Then my senior year in high school, my brother ended up killing himself. Behind reasons I don't know, but my mother know, but she lied to me as a kid and told me he probably didn't kill himself. I dealt with a lot of things uh, when I look back from my mother. And I must say, my household shaped how I am today and how I was as a kid. So after my brother killed himself, uh, my senior year in high school, uh, I became real angry. I went dark. Before this time, I was a youth pastor at church went to church every Sunday uh, religiously. So after my senior year, I dealt with the darkness of my brother's death. Uh, I was on Fresno State football team. Uh, incident happened in college with my roommate. So my roommate, he got into a fight, and so I jumped in to help him. And that exploded into something huge because I didn't know who the guy was that we had beat up or whatever. That day on, I bought a gun and I uh, got that gun and I turned it to a demon. I had a situation where my car broke down and I asked for help. Nobody helped me, so I went out and did some stupid robberies. I got caught, went to prison for seven years, and during those seven years, I was working on my body, reading all the books I could read. Dream was to get out, become a personal trainer and a stripper, as well as a bodybuilder, but a bodybuilder was really on the back burner. I just wanted to be a personal trainer stripper. So through my seven years, I started off as a Muslim. I was a Amir, learned Arabic. From then, I seen that that wasn't my going to be my lifestyle. So I became a gang member in Kumi 415. Became a big dog in that. You know what I mean? And that was my life. I loved being around killers, gangsters, robbers. Uh, I could relate. Uh, workout, mentality, leadership, I had it all. During the seven years, I got in a lot of trouble at San Quentin. I had got a seven year sentence, so I ended up doing the whole entire seven years because I was getting in a lot of trouble in San Quentin. Stabbings, uh, prison riots, uh, just everything you could think of in prison, I was involved in it. I ended up getting transferred from the hole to Solano State Prison in 1999. So I did two years at Solano, still was getting in a lot of riff, but not going to the hole, uh, solitary confinement. So I paroled uh, 2001. I went in October 94, got out February 2001. So when I got out, became a stripper the first week, became a personal trader first week. Uh, so I was on my road, I thought, to doing good and staying out of prison. After about eight months out of prison, my money got funny, it got low. I panicked, I went and got in the drug game that fast, just eight months out of prison, still on parole, everything. But like I say, I know right from wrong. So the universe, karma, spanked me immediately. I was only so dope for about three months and then I was back in prison for an entire year on a parole violation and a new case. Like I say, I got in institutionalized fast. There's a lot of people out there that's institutionalized. They just go back and forth to prison. You know what I mean? I was one of them guys. I felt powerful in prison. You know what I mean? On the streets, didn't nobody respect that I was a shot caller in prison, none of that. Kid, youngsters in Oakland to blow your head off for nothing. You know what I mean? For looking at them wrong. So being a shot caller in prison didn't mean nothing on the streets. So I felt that, so I didn't mind going back to prison. I was like, I'm in the street life, I'm a shot caller, I could get drugs on command, I could get whatever I wanted on command. So I went back to prison four times. 
of course I was dealing with a corrupt Oakland Police Department that put three cases on me. Do I look at them wrong? I don't because I put it on myself knowing I was my guy that know right from wrong. Why would I put myself in that position? A wise man or a guy don't want to go back to prison or end up dead wouldn't put himself in that position. I was putting myself in that position. I was riding around with guns, uh, flashy cars, music, guns in them, dope in them with me. I was just living that ignorant lifestyle that I thought was the right lifestyle. Like many guys that grew up in the hood, they feel like if you don't have no bodies, if you're not selling dope, if you're not pimping, that you uh, square. In my eyes now, a square is hip. Because they staying on the streets, they getting all the guys, women that's in jail. You know, when I was going through it, it was fun. I'm not going to lie to you, it was fun to me. The violence, the dives, the stabbings, the riot, all this chaos was fun to me. And so I can understand why a lot of guys now uh, doing the crimes they doing. They hearing rap songs. They uh, want to emulate the rappers. They want to emulate the criminal lifestyle. And hey, I've been there. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all watching, you go, oh, we don't want to hear that OG. We doing our thing. Woo. But believe me, I'm almost 50, man, and I'm blessed to be here. You know, I've been in shootouts on the street. I could have been dead, had a heart attack, could have been dead. And, you know, some put, was put into me to give this message because I never talked to you guys in this manner. Put the drugs down. Hey. I, I can't say put the guns down. Everybody got to protect themselves. You know, I'm not anti-gun, none of that. Violence, man, get away from it. The only way I became successful after doing all those years of prison, I had my last case in 2005. I was selling heroin, riding around with a gun. Police, Oakland police got on me and uh, high speed, it got away, but they knew it was me. It was that same cop. <laughs> hey, Yoshi. Hope you see this. He put three cases on me. Now they say he a captain of the Oakland Police Department. But I don't have no hard feelings against him because like I say, I was doing wrong. So in that case, I got away in a high speed chase. They found a gun in the car. Once they uh, recovered the car from me getting out running, I put the car away three months later, got the car out of storage and they arrested me that day. So they had a tracking device of the car. A lot of you guys don't know the things that police and uh, all these agents do. I went to jail for that. I was fighting uh, 15 years for a weapon and high speed chase. Ended up taking three years. Yeah, because I only did 16 months on that sentence. So yeah, man, that was my last time. And I got out in 2007 and I got back into personal training uh barbering 2009 i got into bodybuilding that's what really changed my mentality you know what i mean uh, i moved to los angeles 2010 and it was history man my main thing i want to tell all y'all gangsters killers robbers that ain't in prison yet are dead get out of that environment like bro we already see rappers that love this city i ain't leaving i ain't doing this they getting whacked bro like you gotta leave your environment you know what I mean? When I grew up, all the rich cats selling dope, doing crime, the whole object was to move out the hood. You gotta get out that environment. That's the only reason I'm still alive. Before I left Oakland, man, I was on some demon time. I was just crazy, bro. Like, not on no drugs, alcohol, none of that, just crazy. That's somebody that's really crazy that don't have to take no narcotics or alcohol, none of that, and still do demonic stuff. It's still in me, but I suppressed it. Gangster to gangster, killer to killer, dope dealer, dope dealer, pimp. I done did it all. Pimp to pimp, uh, all the, I done did it all, man. I'm talking to y'all straight up uh, because I just don't see nobody with influence, no old school gangsters or killers talking to y'all, man, like this, that made it. God changed my life around once I moved from Oakland. Got into acting, as a lot of people may or may not know. YouTube, social media, having fun, showing you that uh, you could change your life, man. So prison, jail, not it. Death, death need not it. Get off all these narcotics because that's just, uh, hey, all this stuff is for bots, bro. The 
the 1% is a higher level. They want you to be woozy. They want you to be high on drugs or alcohol. And they don't want you to be buffed up and healthy and eating right and living with a right state of mind, getting money, taking care of your family, friends. That's what it's all about, man. It was, I was just led to do this message because I know a lot of y'all out there, man, it's hard times right now. Uh, a lot of people financially uh, strapped or, you know, trying to make it in life, man. Got gas prices high and I get it. I understand, man. I remember the first time gas was $5. Hey, I was cashing in coins, man, out there doing little petty crimes, and I didn't know, you know what I mean? But all you got to do is stay strong, stay focused, get off all that drugs, alcohol, and man, hey, you can achieve it. I did. And you talk about somebody that's a recidivist in prison. Like, I loved it. I loved the action of prison, the everything about prison. I loved the street life, shootings, and all. I know, bro. So, hey, get your life together, man, because especially if you guys got mothers, grandmothers, parents, siblings, they want to see you live, man. So I love those who love me. Keep pushing for success. Don't let nothing stop you. Don't let the devil use you as one of his minions, man. That's the thing. You got to realize whenever you about to do something, that good angel, bad angel on you, hey, you got to get that bad angel up off you, man. You go die young. So, man, I love y'all. Hope y'all enjoy this message. I hope it hits you in the heart, man. See you on the next one. Click here to watch another awesome video from Cali Muscle. And if you support the channel, hit the subscribe button.